Venn diagrams are pretty incredible because they use circles to convey interesting and logically related information. At this point in your school career, you're probably familiar with how they work. But as a refresher, we'll go over the basics at the top of this lesson, and then I'll show you how to identify, set up, and solve Venn diagram problems on the SAT. Let's start with that quick review I just promised. A Venn diagram is a way of solving problems with categories of data that overlap. You'll be able to recognize a Venn diagram problem because the problem will give you two or more groups of items and ask for amounts in either group, both groups, or neither. And as you can tell, Venn diagrams display information visually. This might be a good time to remind you that anytime you come across one of these problems on the SAT, use the drawing picture strategy. Now, let's look at a test problem that involves a Venn diagram. There are 45 students signed up for the performance band, while 30 are signed up for the jazz band. If 19 students are signed up for both bands, how many students are signed up for only one of the bands? We'll underline the facts, circle key terms, and label the answer choices, which are possible values for the number of students signed up for only one band. So we know this calls for a Venn diagram because we're given two categories of students and the word both. Let's start by drawing a basic Venn diagram made up of two overlapping circles. We'll want to write the total number of students beneath the Venn diagram, so let's write t equals for now. Now, let's put the information given in the problem into the drawing. The left circle is the total in the performance band. Let's label the fact that there are 45 performance band members. We can write this above the circle. And above the right circle, we'll note that there are 30 jazz band members. Lastly, we're told that there are 19 members in both bands. We need to include that in the Venn diagram portion that overlaps. Great, we've got our Venn diagram drawn and labeled. Now let's get into solving this problem. We're asked to find the number of students that are members of only one band. The areas highlighted in yellow are either only in the performance band or only in the jazz band. So how many band members are only in the performance band? Well, if there are 45 performance band members and 19 of those are also in the jazz band, then to find the number of students who are only in performance band, we need to subtract 19 from 45, which gives us 26. So there are 26 students who are only in the performance band. Let's label that on our Venn diagram. Now we want to do the same to calculate the number of students who are only in the jazz band. So we want to subtract 19 from 30, which gives us 11. 11 students are only members of the jazz band. We want to note that on the diagram. We have the number of students only in the jazz band and the number of students only in the performance band. By adding these together, we can find the total number of students only in one band. If we add these numbers together, we get 26 plus 11, which is 37. 37 students are only in one band or the other. Looking at our answer choices, answer choice C is 37, so go ahead and circle it. Take a bow and enjoy a round of applause for that top tier performance. Drawing pictures helped us to get to the right answer with simple subtraction and addition. The question didn't ask for the total number of people in the band program, but we could have calculated that too. Let's go through that step so you're ready to go if you come across a problem that does ask for it. Let's imagine there were no other bands at this high school. We'll label the neither outside of the two circles zero we could find the total students in the band program by adding each portion of the Venn diagram. So 26 plus 19 plus 11. When we add these together, we get 56. Easy. So anytime you see an SAT question that involves two categories and contains the words both, neither, or total, it's a good idea to set it up as a Venn diagram problem. 
Since the setup and calculation of a Venn diagram problem is relatively easy, the hardest part of a Venn diagram problem on the test will be making sure that you've answered the question that was asked. Make sure you take advantage of all the practice problems we have available throughout the course, and you'll be a Venn diagram virtuoso in no time.